Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And according to the latest report from Ookla, AT&T again has the fastest nationwide network. I don't know why they're advertising it as fastest network for iPhones. I know iPhones are the most popular and they factor into this in a big way. But we all know Qualcomm is still performing better on Samsung's than they than iPhones. So I just wanted to point that out. Also, recently, Tech Extremists had made a video about that. So I will leave that video in the description down below so you guys could check it out. And you will clearly see still, until we have new hardware from Apple, that the Samsung Qualcomm chipsets are still performing much better. But AT&T, for some reason, is using the Ookla. And they're saying that they have the fastest network for iPhone, which is true. But again... They have, they really have the fastest network for all devices. It's not just specific for one device, but that's what AT&T is, is using the Ookla report for. So the most recent Ookla report, I have not yet seen the actual report. I'm still looking for the links and stuff. So once I have that, we'll go over it. But for the, I believe they say for the seventh consecutive quarter in a row, AT&T has been the fastest network, which I think is believable. I think there are other crowdsourced that are backing this up as well. So that's kind of what I do. And uh, me and tech extremists have agreed on that. You kind of want to look at all of the reports and then based on all of the reporting, you want to, you want to make your opinion on that. So if there's one after another, after another, after another third party that is backing that up, you kind of tend to believe that one of the other is correct. So that that's what I what, what I'm starting to believe that AT&T is starting to become the fastest network or has been the fastest network. They've been aggressively investing on upgrading their existing footprint. The towers that are already in the area with that usually or previously had only two carriers of LTE bands overnight all of a sudden went from 6 to 7 to 8 carriers of LTE with a backhaul boost. That's going to automatically increase your speeds no matter where you're at. Now, of course, I know that you st there's still areas that you have troubles in. I know maybe your work where you where you, you know, go to the gym at. I know those those problems still exist. And that's on AT&T to fix it, because in some markets they're tapping out a spectrum. They're going to have to start densification. They're going to have to start adding more CRAN, more towers. They have to. That's the only way to fix that. But for now. On a nationwide basis, AT&T is still the fastest until I believe they can, Verizon can start incorporating CBRS and until T-Mobile can fix that mess that they have going on with the N41. And once they can fix up, figure that out, tweak it, optimize it correctly, then I think they will get, they will get better. So I just wanted to make this brief video this morning, letting you guys know AT&T again is claiming per the la latest Ookla reports that they are the fastest nationwide carrier. Let me know what you think about that in the comment section down below. If you have been on the channel, you can go ahead and end this video now. If you are new to the channel, you look forward to updates like these. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Also hit the notification bell so you are notified when I do upload the content. Also follow my Twitter. I do post the videos on the Twitter as well. This is Tyrone with Tech Life. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.